world record attempt by Hel El Garouj of Morocco in the all blue strip. Two pacemakers, William Tanui of Kenya and Robert Kibet of Kenya. And I wonder whether there'll be a response to Nguyen's fine world record over 1,000 meters, taking said Coe's figures away in reality just a couple of days ago. 162, that's Robert Kibet. Willem Tanui, 161, is also there, former Olympic champion over 800 meters, leading through El Garouj. Steve Brown. Well, given how fast El Garouj has run this year, I think this is well within his capabilities. As long as, as long as we have some good pace making, he will want William Tanui, who's in second place at the minute, to take him as far as he possibly can. We saw El Garouj have a good attempt at the World 3000 record the other night in Brussels. Just came up short, really. But he ran 4.48 in Gateshead last year in pretty average conditions. 56.7. Good first lap, nice and even pace, nothing silly. And I think that uh, El Garouj, well, you should never say that people will break a world record, but certainly within his capabilities anyway. Well, let's just tell you who holds the world record, not any more silly set that in Paris in 1995. The figure stands at 4 minutes, 47.88. He's just inside on that first lap, the Morsley schedule, although on an even pace, uh, probably just a little bit slower than that, but he is a class act. World record holder, uh, the mile world record holder at 1,500 meters, sitting now in place behind the two pacemakers who've got to work very hard. They're looking to get into 1,600 meters in 3.48, which would mean that he would have to run only under 59 for the last 400 meters to break the world record. So if he can get there, then clearly the world record is well within his sights. Certainly is true. It's a weird distance over the 2,000. You can see a slight swirl up there, 154, but still good schedule there. It's ahead of what Mostly was running, but mostly didn't really run an even pace for us. He ran 2.21 for a second thousand. He really speeded up in the second half of the race. And I think El Garouj will want to run it differently. So let's not too, get too carried away with comparing it with what Mosley was at at the same point. The key for him is to keep it even paced. And 154 is good. And now this is where William Tanui will earn his money. He really has to keep this pace going for at least another lap, preferably further. And El Garouj then will be able to reach the bell having not had to work too hard and that's the key and then hopefully he can pick it up on the last time. Well the race once again is a demonstration. Pacemaker and the principal, the world champion, sitting in, having beaten Yen, having seen Yen break the record of 1,000 meters. That must have inspired him and motivated him. And with two laps to go to 252.21 at 1,200 meters. So he's on schedule certainly. He's on schedule. Look at the pace. I mean, really, Tanui's really blasting out down the back straight there. He's up really working very hard, as you said, Steve, and El Garouj is responding, and that's good. When Morsley broke the world record, this is the stage of the race that he really took off. He really picked up the pace, and unfortunately for El Garouj now, he's got 600 meters to run on his own. You're really caught between good mile pace, which this is, and running an extra lap, which uh, you'd like to have really run a little bit slower. Now the crowd again behind him, that's going to be very, very important here because he's got nothing behind him to push him. He's only got the clock to run against. And uh, let's just see where he gets to with the bell. Mostly in the world record is 3.52. He's going to be certainly inside that. Well within the record schedule that was set, but Mostly ran a brilliant last lap. Yeah, Mostly ran, what, 55, but this is uh, inside world record schedule for Al Garouj. And he's still gaining in strength and stature down the back straight. This is talent. He's now 50 meters or so, perhaps more, ahead of the rest of the field, being led by uh, Benson Coates. But that's another race. This is a record attempt, less than 200 meters to go. Just to remind you, the figure 447.88, he has to be Morsley's figure set back in 1995. This man has the talent. The world record holder at 1,500, world record holder at one mile. Now watch the clock count down. He's got about 60 meters to go. 47, 88 to beat. He's powering his way to the line. It's a brilliant, brilliant run. And the world record has gone. 444, 79. And that is a magnificent performance. Three seconds or so inside the world record set by Morsley. And Steve, it was always on the cards. It really was. But once the pace had gone, 
He just kept a relentless pace himself, and really, he deserved that. He was inside, just outside the 348 that he wanted, but that meant that uh, that last 400 metres was well within his grasp. Well, he's just made a whole bunch of uh, brilliant names over miling history look very, very ordinary. 3, 4, uh, 444. That is incredible. You can imagine running a 344 mile, which only he and Nien, of course, have run faster than, and then running a 60 second lap on the back of that. That's the sort of thing you're talking about. Forget that time that's down there in the uh, bottom caption. That's the uh, organizer there, Rudy Teeler, but El Garouge is just, well, uh, you know, words almost defy you because he's just setting standards now that I don't think uh, anyone for quite a while is going to get close to. Let's not forget Nian, he broke the world record for 1,000 meters in Rieti on Sunday. But this night, once more, belongs to El Garouge. A brilliant performance over five laps.